go. What's up guys, I finally finished my first fully built Mazda speed engine. Now this is kind of a typical build that anyone else would do, but it's basically forged pistons, forged rods, stock crankshaft, the cylinder walls are 88 millimeters, and I have a stock head. Now my head is ported, but stock cam, stock springs and retainers, stock OEM head gasket, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a Mazda Speed cylinder head, and then I'm gonna show you how to install an oil pan. All right guys, before we can put on our Mazda Speed head, we're gonna to need to put in our head studs. Now these are Speed Performance head studs, and that you don't wanna to torque them down. You just wanna put them in hand tight, and then do one quarter turn with a ratchet. If you torque them too much, it could crack the block. Now I also put in some ARP head studs, lube to make sure they would fully torque down you don't want to put a lot of that just a tiny little bit and then i put in an oem head gasket oem is just honestly the best way to go in the picture it could be off a little bit but i have a freshly decked cleaned and ready to go mazda speed head it has been ported and it should be perfect for my 500 horsepower goal the moment of truth Now that the Mazda speed head is on the block, you're going to need to torque it down. Now you start from the middle and you go to the outside. You gotta do it in a sequence of 20, 40, 60. And then on the final time, I ended up going to 65 foot pounds. Now you have to tighten it and then you have to loosen everything in reverse order and then you have to tighten it again. There's a detailed instruction for just torquing the head down on Mazda's website and also online. So be sure to check that out when building your own Mazda speed engine. All right guys, so this is the oil pump, as you can see. So this part is machined and it's gonna butt up right here on the engine block located. There we go. Should be pretty simple. We have our oil pump on, we can get our oil pan on. We gotta attach our oil strainer though first. The oil strainer is really easy, it's just two little bolts, and then they suck the oil strainer on. You need to have this little O-ring gasket in though, or else you will have terrible oil pressure. All right guys, you're gonna want your oil pan as clean as possible, then you can install your oil pan baffle. Now I have this cool purple one. Once you have that all torqued down and bolted up, you'll be ready to install your oil pan on the block. Now you wanna make sure it's super clean and then it's ready to go. I use just basic RTV, some black RTV on the oil pan and a little bit on the block itself. Then I started to bolt up the oil pan should seal pretty well because I use some high temp oil resistant RTV. So as long as it was clean, I should not have any issues. All right guys, that's how you install a Mazda speed head and an oil pan. I hope you guys like today's video. Now in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to time a Mazda speed engine, but be sure to subscribe and stay tuned.